Touch DRO needs a few configuration changes to work correctly on a lathe. In this video, let's walk through the important settings. Specifically, we will need to switch Touch DRO to lathe mode. This will turn on lathe specific features, cutter offset compensation, and radius diameter reading. More importantly, the coordinate system will change to match the convention for the lathe. This affects how sub datum and tool offset memories work and changes the projection plane of the graphical view display. We will also make some tweaks to the readout display. Let's jump right in. To open the settings page, tap the main menu button. From the menu drawer, select settings. The first item on the settings page is machine type. Select lathe. If you work primarily in metric mode, turn on the metric mode switch. We can skip the use shared tool library and use USB connection settings. They are here for legacy reasons. If you are using glass or magnetic DRO scales, let's change the readout display format to show more decimal places. Open the user interface settings section. Select Display Format. Tap the second option. The display font and the two settings in the UI settings section are a matter of personal preference. The defaults are fine. There is usually no need to change anything in the Function Strip Preferences section. Let's get back to the application settings and scroll to the lower part of the page. Open the X axis settings. Here, we want to change the buttons that show up next to the axis readout. The first button is set zero function. We can leave it. Set zero is the most used function, so it's fine in the first spot. In the second spot, I like to have the hold button. It makes tool changes on the lathe much easier. Scroll down a bit and tap the second action button. Tap the Hold Set Position option. Your tablet screen might be able to fit two axis buttons when the right panel is expanded. Let's turn on the Show When Collapse switch. I have my third button set to Absolute Incremental Mode Toggle. We will skip the input settings. They will be covered in the Scale Calibration video. Go back to the application settings. On the lathe, the Y axis is not used, so let's disable it. Tap the Y axis settings and turn off the enable Y axis switch. Now you can go back to the application settings and configure the Z axis buttons to match the X axis. The process is the same, so we will not go over it again. If you are planning to use a tachometer, we need to configure it as well. Open the tachometer settings. Turn on the enable tachometer switch. Open tachometer pulses per revolution and enter the number of openings or magnets in your encoder disk. Tap OK. We are done with the settings. Let's jump back and see how things look on the main screen. Now we can tweak the icon and text sizes. Tap the Add Sub Datum button a few times to add some items to the list. Now tap the Delete button. See if you like the text size. If it's too small or too large, we can tweak the size in the tablet settings. Swipe down from the upper right corner of the screen. This will open the Notifications panel. Tap the gear icon to open System Settings. Find the display section. There, you should have an option for font size. On mine, it's called font size and style. Yours might be slightly different. Change the size to suit your needs. When done, check the main DRO screen. If the layout looks too crammed, you can turn off the second button. Otherwise, we are done for now. Thank you for watching.